Why am I not direct? Am I direct seeding this? I think I am direct seeding this. Has that actually seeded anything? No. Is this not a direct seeder? I thought this was. That might be a big problem. This should do what we're after. Down. And away we go. And no! Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Baileron, where today we are heading down to the shop again because something pretty awesome has turned up. I'm actually going to try doing this dirt road this time. I go around the main road all the time, but there is a quicker way down here and that is down this way. So the plan was today to get us a cedar. So we are going to be doing that. We are going to be purchasing a cedar at some point. We're going to have to borrow some money to do that. Um, however, at the same time, something's come up in the shop that we're going to need to borrow a bit of cash for uh, in order to purchase as well. And it's something I was talking about last time, which is just insane. And that is this. We have a flatbed trailer that has turned up and is available and holds an awful lot of stuff. Uh, this will be perfect for bales. Uh, it will also be perfect for us for our uh, products and our produce as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to grab this as well today. This is 11,852. So we're going to have to borrow uh, £10,000 to get this. We're also looking at grabbing a cedar. I was hoping one was going to turn up there, but it hasn't. Uh, so looking at the cost of the cedars, the, the Amazon ones are cheap, but still too expensive. We're going to have to probably get the, the Nordston for 33500 It is a direct cedar. It's got a, a power harrow on the front, so that will do us fine. Uh, it is three meters like all of these uh, lower ones, although that the Kuhn one is a bit... Yeah, it's it's... It's 41,000, basically 33,000 is the cheapest and it's um, we're going to have to borrow uh, about 35,000 in order to get it in 5,000 chunks. So we need to borrow 35,000 pound before we start today. Sorry, 45,000 pound before we start today because we need 10,000 pounds for the trailer and then we need 35,000, so one two three yeah uh yes that should do it i think no that's gonna be no that should be that should do it i hope uh so let's go back in the shop and grab these uh now the trailer the thing about this trailer buying this now actually works really really well for us uh do we have a red for it no we'll leave it as the green uh not costing any extra cash uh no we'll leave the rim color as it is need to change the number plate uh we are going to put vf uh zero zero two uh hot ballon so hb on here uh back only main color yep yeah, that's all good and then buy that yes okay and yeah, I was wrong. I do actually need to borrow another 5,000. So we're still not putting our cost up by too much. And it's we'll be able to pay all of this that we're borrowing today off fairly easily. So let's buy that. Yes. Okay. And what I'm actually also going to do... Maybe we have... I think we might have actually some seeds back at the farm. So... We're going to hook this up to the big trailer, which is why I've bought this over here. Uh, this this uh, TLX is actually quite good. Uh, it will allow us to do a load of carting stuff that would otherwise require a second tractor. Uh, we can't connect all the other bits up to it, but should still be okay. Yeah, and this has no problem. So we're going to get this back up to the farm. And then we'll come back and we'll grab the cedar and we can go and check while we're up there if we actually have any seeds or whether we need to buy any for our trailer. 
So we get this back in here and to our farm. And we're already uh, maxed out on the flower again, actually. So we need to sort that. Uh, first, I need to get this parked out the way. And because this is a dolly trailer, as always, it's going to be fun. Especially doing it on the back of a truck. Uh, but there we go. Bring it around. Swing that round. And right and... Want it to go further. There we go. But not too far. This is the thing. It's, it takes a lot of care and attention. To try and get these things to go in the right place. I think we're okay though. Yeah, there we go. So we'll get this parked just off here. Uh, we need to expand this yard a little bit, I think. It, it needs to have a, a little bit better layout, but... We're not too bad at the moment. That is kind of in the way of us getting stuff off there at the moment, but we're okay. Right, so disconnect this and bring this out and over here. Now, I've been in, uh, in two minds. We've got enough time today, I think, to possibly get both of these fields seeded. Uh, we've got how much seed? We've got... Uh, 128 litres there. We've got 12 litres there. That might be enough. It might not. Let's jump into here. We'll disconnect that off the front. And then what we're going to do is head down to the shop. Grab the cedar. I don't know if... Do we have the field planner on here? Oh, we don't. So I'm not 100% sure how much seed... Uh, would be necessary. But I think we might have to get a whole load of it back here eventually. Uh, maybe it was wise to have left the truck down at the shop. Uh, we can see in a bit. But first we've got to head down there. Pick up our cedar and get it back to the farm. So actually I've changed my mind. I am going to buy some seeds. We need them, well, based on what we have, we need them uh, in order to fully, uh, well, we need them to in order to fully uh, seed everything. Uh, now, the field we're going to concentrate on today is the big one. So we're going to try and get that all done. Uh, let's buy some seeds then. Uh, we're only going to get one big bag of seeds. It's only £800. Uh, so that should be fine. Uh, and this should do all of our big field with any luck. Our cedar is open, which is great. So what we want to do is come over here, hook this up. And the reason why you might have noticed I've got a helper finished. I've set the truck down here in order to get that to... Are you going to open up? Yeah, there we go. Uh, no, open up please Really, I'm going to have to open it manually I wish there was an external manual opening Because, yeah, it's it would be really, really helpful There was in FS19 But in FS22 you still have to hook it up at the moment to this Unless there's uh, somebody's come up with the uh, external opening There we go That's all open because, yeah, that's not overly realistic. And then we'll bring this round and get this filled up. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go and do the big field at the top. And get that done first. If I can use up the other seeds, uh, I will do. Because, yeah, we're still left with 400 litres. So, if we need to use more uh, than we can. What I want to do is now bring this over here and put the rest of the seeds in our flatbed uh, and get this back to the farm. So this is the downside of not having uh, two tractors on the farm is that the tractor that we load up our cedar with seed with is the same tractor uh, that we have to use on the cedar. So uh, open the rear. Then we can just put this into here. Uh, get it locked down, and then we can head up to the field and get the field starting to be planted. So we'll put this over the wheels 
So on our fifth wheel. Look, I've got the right thing selected. There we go. Something else I should know is that our tractor is gonna need repairs soon. It's getting fairly low and uh, and that does worry me a bit. So we'll send this back to the farm. Uh, yeah, so just there-ish should be fine. So that is on its way back and now we can hook the rest of this up and back to the farm with it and get started on that field. And we're going to seed our, our field as I was suggesting. So we're gonna go across the slope with uh, this instead of uh, up and down it. Uh, we are gonna put canola in, so it won't be quite so bad, but uh, it means that whatever combine we get uh, and, and lease for it, we'll be able to do fairly easily. And I'm kind of hoping we're going to be able to get the canola and our wheat. Because uh, we're going to put wheat in the small field. Uh, hoping to get both of those uh, done at about the, uh, the same time to minimise how much we have to hire a combine for. So considering I'm trying to buy the bakery, why am I going to plant canola in this field? Uh, the reasoning behind this is that we have so much stuff going into our windmill at the moment and uh, and working that we just we can't uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna be stuck with a whole load of uh, wheat that we wouldn't be able to do anything with. So yeah, we're gonna do that and do it that way. All right, uh, we've got canola selected. It is the right time of year to be planting it. And why am I not direct? Am I direct seeding this? I think I am direct seeding this. Has that actually seeded anything? Let's have a look. Uh, no. Is this not a direct seeder? I thought this was. That might be a big problem. We might have to go and change this. Uh, if I stop it now, how much money would I lose selling that right now? Let's go and have a look. I might have bought the wrong cedar. 26,000 would get closer to 30. Ah. Uh, which of these then is a direct cedar? We we'll await see crops. Why does that not have? Oh, it's just cultivate. So this, this which is ten thousand more would do the job. Um, that I don't think will. I think it. it it's got. This is the ridiculous thing. These have power harrows on them but apparently that isn't going to do what it needs to do to the soil we uh yeah we're gonna have to go and get the leon uh 303 aerosem 302 on this i think uh right what i'm gonna do then is i am going to unload the seeds here and go and switch this over for the other cedar because this one won't do what I need it to. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I thought that was going to work, which is not good. Right, we want to get this unloaded over here. You might notice that I have turned off all of the indicators for where uh, tipping and uh, using stuff and things like that is kind of know them off by heart by now 29,000 so we are we're gonna lose a couple of grand on that uh but we have got to sell it it also means uh yes uh, it also means that we are more than 10,000 short so we are gonna have to borrow another 15 this is the day when we're borrowing a lot of money it's a good thing we've got plenty coming in in the near future but we're gonna borrow 40,000 
That is, uh, or borrow another 10,000. That's still not enough. So there we go. We borrowed a lot of money today to try and get this set up. And I don't like borrowing this kind of level of cash. So this should do what we're after. Uh, this definitely has the, the Leon built in. Uh, and yeah, let's buy. How much is that to lease? The trailer we need for longer term. This we don't need quite so long. So uh, yeah, I'm going to lease this instead and then we're going to repay a lot of that money that we've bought uh, that we borrowed back so uh, let's go back here and i'm just gonna repay take us back down to three thousand that's better i feel better about that now there's no real customization on the cedar or anything and i think uh, probably leasing is the way we should have gone in the first place so again, this is, seems to have the same sort of thing on it. And if this goes wrong, uh, then we actually lose more money. Whoa. Uh, than if we had uh, done it. Uh, than if we bought it. And, uh, and then returned it. So this is a little bit of a gamble. But I'm fairly sure I've seen this act as a direct seeder before. The big difference you can see with this already is that it's got two bits attached to the back rather than the single one we had with the previous piece of kit. So my hope very much is that when we come around here and go to load this up, A, this will take everything in here. Oh, wow. I might bring the truck back. Let's see if this works first. So we turn on that. It's all in. We have got GPS on this, so that's good. Down. And away we go. And no! Why is that seemingly having no effect? That is a power harrow. That is a direct cedar. What is going on? Let's, uh, let's move a little bit further into the field. I am at a loss. Why is our cedar not doing what it's supposed to do? Let's turn it off. Uh, right. What I want to do then is we'll drop that off. We'll take the power arrow on its own. Turn it on. Drop it down. What is happening? Okay, we'll reconnect it. Right, uh, reconnect the PTO. Connect anything else. Lift the whole thing. Turn it on. I am very, very confused right now. Why is this not doing what it should do? That is the oddest thing. I don't know. There is no way that I can get this field planted today with canola having to go over it twice, which is the idea behind getting a direct cedar. 
but the fact that it won't let me do it is slightly weird. Uh, any ideas in the chat would be greatly appreciated, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to miss our window for uh, doing canola because we just can't do anything about it. We've got a uh, no not seed bed. We've got stubble tillage there. And I don't know where to go from here. Do we have to... Do we have to mulch it first? <laughs> I don't know, Chad. This should work. And it most definitely is not. Because that... Actually, I'm just going to run over this bit here. Has that seeded that? That is now. Oh, we're too close to it. Let's move out of the way. In a nutshell. Yeah, that has planted canola. Something is very, very wrong with this. Right, so we're back down in the shop because, uh, well, basically, uh, I want to try mulching the field first. But something big has come up. And the reason why I'm going to pop into here and go and do undo pretty much a ton of stuff that I've just done uh, and take us up to £53,000 is because... This has turned up for sale in the shop. Um, 49,466 for a New Holland 8670 with 170 horsepower. I've been saying we need a second tractor. And uh, yeah, here it is. Now, I'd love to take this up uh, to a higher horsepower. But uh, unfortunately, we can't do that because we don't have the cash. Um, I can't put GPS on it uh or anything like that uh, i think we can we can put the michelin tires on it um but we might upgrade this later when we have a little bit more money in uh standard attachers uh yeah adding uh, adding a front thing on it costs too much pretty much everything i want to do costs too much so, uh, yeah, we, we're going to have to raise some money for this later. Then we might just put a large front weight on it. It'll be useful for what we're trying to do at the moment. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we're going to grab this. Uh, it's going to be three. Now, this may be the thing that saves us today. So, I this is why I need to, to get this, to be honest. Let's buy that it's gonna be in fairly bad disrepair i think uh now what i want to do is i want to grab hold of a mulcher we're gonna see if putting a mulcher over this helps us first we ideally want a three meter one which is that or i just lease this one yeah we'll lease this we'll see how this works uh so yeah that and we'll keep it as that color and we're going to lease that it will cost us 239 to lease this and head back right let's see if we can get this set up here to work oh quite nice having a new holland now this is one of the ones that's really freaky in the way it turns um but i do like this tractor and it's been a while since we've had a New Holland, so this turning circle on this is just exceptionally cool. And actually, this tractor isn't too bad in uh, disrepair-wise. It's... let's have a look quickly. Where are we? There we go. Uh, yeah, uh, it should be all right for a while, so that's all good. Let's get this going. Lots of gears on this. Uh, so up to our farm and uh, we'll see if mulching this stubble has any effect. As it is, I think we're probably too late in the day now to actually get this canola in. So it's 
Looking like we're going to be planting something else in the new year. Uh, by the looks of things. Love the engine sound on this tractor. It is just exceptionally nice. Right. Got this back up to the field then. We'll unfold the mulcher. Small mulcher for this, but... Should do it right. We've been using this all over the place. But what I'm going to do is mulch this. And then... Uh, once we've done that, what I'm looking to do is get, uh, yeah, we'll get a single row done. Wow, I'll get a couple of rows done. This is fun trying to get this up here. Will this now direct seed into this field if we get it mulched? If it does, I can probably put a hired worker going and uh, and mulching the rest of this field but there we go i'm gonna turn the beacon off oh, the, I'm, i am gonna have to put gps on that tractor we're gonna need gps on that tractor just simply because uh that new holland will probably end up doing most of our field work so yeah it's it's gonna be a little bit of an interesting thing to do if I don't have that on there, especially as we've got it on this sea tour. Right, down. And no change. So, no, this will not direct seed if it's a. Ah, oh, that is incredibly annoying. So, uh,. We're not going to be using this cedar to do this job, unfortunately. Uh, if we have a look in here and have a look in our productions. Now, the reason why I want to do canola um, is because we can do uh, uh, we can do canola oil from it. Looking at this, we're going to have to do sunflower oil. So sunflowers are what we're going to be planting. I don't think this cedar even does sunflowers. Um, we can go and put wheat or barley in our other field and we will go and do that uh we are gonna have to prepare both of these fields now first before we can seed them though uh so yeah that is incredibly annoying and so what i'm gonna have to do is get this field mulched uh, which will be good for it. Uh, we will probably put some more lime on here as well, actually. Because looking at it, the lime is uh, is a bit deficient. And uh, then, yeah. Oh. This is, this is not how I expected things to go. Gone around the headlands uh, a couple of times. Just to make sure that I've got enough area to turn. Which even now doesn't seem quite right uh and yeah just trying to make sure that we get this done as efficiently as possible the turning circle on this is interesting to say the least and then we're, we're working in a smaller area here to start off with uh, as i said before we're now trying to do this field a little bit across this way to minimize how much of the slope we're having to deal with it's fine at this top bit here. Uh, the, the slope isn't quite so long or so bad. Uh, whereas along going down towards the farm, it's it's quite a bit heavier to deal with. Uh, it's part of the reason why this tractor is currently running in 12th gear. Because it was the only way I could get up the hill on the far side. It is a nice tractor. I like this tractor, and I'm so pleased that I went, yes, that's come up second hand. We've got to grab it. It's got 30 hours on it, so its maintenance cost isn't going to be cheap. But uh, as I said before, it's about at 50% at the moment. Uh, what I'm expecting is that we're going to be able to get to the end of the year. We're going to be able to sell all of the flour off. And uh, and in doing that, make a load of money that we can then put back into the farm. Uh, as we are going to be then immediately trying to buy the bakery, and uh, and 
and get us producing bread from that. Um, but yeah, at the moment, things have taken a really, really sharp turn. And uh, hopefully we can come out the other side of this. Uh, we are going to do, as I said, sunflower oil instead of canola oil. Uh, it does mean that our combine next year will have to have two headers, uh, which is going to increase the cost of that slightly. But all in all, there's not much I can do because uh, this field is never going to be in ready in time uh, in order to actually plant canola in it. I'm so used to doing this field uh, down the slope that it seems just a little bit odd to be doing it this way. Um, but it is putting a lot less strain on the tractor. Uh, it's it's having a lot less problems dealing with uh, the slope like this uh, than it was when I was going up and down it earlier. So uh, with any luck, this is just going to make things a little bit easier. There is definitely still a slope in this direction, but it's much more gradual than the uh, the slope down towards the farm so i've uh, i've no issues at all with this uh like this uh mulching i think still helps stuff in precision farming i'm hoping so otherwise this is a bit of a waste of time but uh it's it, it should make a difference let's actually let's have a look uh so doesn't say doesn't say okay We'll find out when we actually uh, plant something in here. Whether we have a, a boost to our yield. Um, I'm hoping so. We could do with it. We could do with something going right at the moment. Because at the... M I can't believe that direct seeder is not working. Neither of those direct seeders are working. On the last little bit of this field. And yeah, going across it. Definitely the way to go with this just so much smoother and and so much easier to handle uh the tractor didn't struggle at all especially if you go top uh of the field down uh it is just yeah just really really works well uh we've still got a quite a few patches of stones on here i've noticed so we didn't quite pick everything up when we did uh you can see there we've got a couple of big patches of large stones so uh yeah there's a couple of areas where our stone picker uh we we missed a couple of bits uh, and we do need to smooth out this bottom corner we might do that before we get too much further but that has got our first field done and uh, and that's fully mulched now we just need to go and do the second one and then today isn't a total bust uh, for what we're trying to do. I am I am still gobsmacked that the, our cedar didn't work. The direct cedar did not work. Uh, is really, really annoying. So we're going to get... I think next time what we're going to do is try and get some lime onto these two fields. If we have a look in the precision farming screen. Have a look, where are we? Uh, our farm is up here. Uh, pH levels, uh, okay, aren't too bad. Uh, they could have been worse. So maybe we don't, maybe we don't need to get any lime on there. That's, uh, that's, that's not so bad. Uh, we, it would be good if it was right up. In fact, most of it is right up in the green where it should be. We've only got one small patch of 5.75. What's the soil type? So, yeah. It's maybe a little bit lower than it should be. pH value. It says it's bad. So, maybe it does need some. Lower this down. Uh, we're going to go around the edge of this field a couple of times. Uh, I might just get a bag or two of lime and uh, go round and see if we can raise the pH levels on these fields uh, if we have the money to do it. I don't want to keep borrowing money. We borrowed quite a bit of money today, so I'd rather not go and borrow more. Uh, we sort of borrowed it on the promise of what we're going to get in the future. Uh, that future 
still feels quite a way off. Nearly half past six, the sun is setting, but we have managed to get both of these fields mulched, uh, ready for seeding of sun description. We will have to get... I think we're going to make the most of the cedar and the power harrow attached to it by getting this field done next time, maybe. Uh, we really, really need to sort that out and uh and and get at least some wheat or some barley in here then we'll go with wheat um because uh wheat is something we don't have do we still have some barley in the store or have we all got it out yeah we still have thirty thousand liters of barley to go through our windmill our windmill is currently completely full of flour so we've, we've got no space in that we've got some space for more barley at the moment so we've got more barley and more flour than we know what to do with at the moment maybe we should just do sunflowers on all of our fields for next year and uh and and do it there and just use the power harrow to do that let us know in the comments though i might hold off doing an immediate seeding well we can't go and uh, immediately seed, so there is that. This does like to go back to minus one when you put it into reverse. Put the tractor in there. We'll bring the other tractor back in a minute. Uh, last thing I want to do tonight, though, is get this returned because we don't want to be paying for that. Uh, return that. Yes. Okay. Actually, we're not going to use the cedar. Uh, we can return that and just keep the power harrow, maybe. So, uh, yeah, I'll get that back and we'll go from there. I think, though, this is a good place for me to end this mess uh, that we've had today. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.